We are back again with another NFL Draft 2022 prospect profile. This time we take a look at quarterback, our first quarterback review, Malik Willis out of Liberty. And of course, I'm joined by my right hand man, Cravante Bebe. Definitely was on mute, but uh, <laughs> I was rocking too. Hey, um, yo, this is our, uh, one of our first prospects uh, at quarterback. Very, very interesting prospect, but you know, another profile. I think I think we're getting the hang of this, Byron. I don't know about you. Yes, we upgraded the production value, hopefully a little bit for those watching. Make sure you like the video, subscribe, comment down below. Let us know what you think about Malik Willis or any of our prospects. And would you take him? Do you want to play your team as well? Cavante, I'm going to read down the measurables and then I'll throw it over to you. So, of course, Malik Willis is Richard Sr. from Atlanta, Georgia. Went to Liberty University, six foot and one half inch because that half inch does matter, 219 pounds, <laughs> 31 and three-fourths inches arms, nine and a half inch hands. He is, like I said, Richard Sr. He did transfer from Auburn to Liberty after the 2018 season. I don't know if a lot of people know that when they decided he would not be the starter. I guess he made the right choice there. And then he was able to then go to Liberty, hence the red shirt as well, so Cravante, when you hear about Malik Willis, I think a lot of people are starting to come to the consensus that he'll be the number one quarterback taken. I guess the biggest question is where. What are your thoughts when you look at him, strengths, weaknesses, and comparisons? Um, this is by far the most polarizing prospect this year, um, and it's not even close. Um, the way the NFL is going, um, with your your basically your quarterback needs to be some type of dual threat, some type of uh guy who can move and use his legs as as well as his arm. And Malik Willis absolutely has a rocket, a rifle, a cannon. It, whatever is whatever whatever one of those words you choose to describe his arm, he can launch he can launch that thing. Um and we've seen we've seen he he's a he's another highlight reel. He is has as a top end um, talent, uh, top end top end athlete, and he has some running back abilities as well when he's in the uh, when he's in the open field. Not not overly fast, but he's he's big. He's thick. You know what I'm saying? So nobody's going to want to see him in the open field, um, especially none of those DBs. Um. He does really well with um, off uh, off platform throws, um, basically throwing throwing um, throwing on the run and improvising. And which in the NFL, Plan A works half the time. <laughs> um, so yeah. Um, now the the down part, um, he played at Liberty. Um, you know, not the competition is severely different as opposed to the SEC. Um, he performed pretty well against guys in, I mean, uh, teams in his conference. But when he played top tier talent, he did not necessarily do well. A lot of turnovers in those games. Um, another positive, he he's not scared to throw it. But that you know that could be a good thing and a bad thing. Him being a gunslinger, um, which also goes into his accuracy. Generally, standing standing in the pocket, he's not the most accurate. Um, when he's on a run, he's believe it or not, he's actually more accurate on the run. Um, mechanics could could use some work. Um, he doesn't have really a variety of types of passes he throws. You need to be able to throw a fastball, floaters, and like what what I would call like level two balls, like right over the top of the linebackers. Right. It's really it comes out fast all the time. It comes out fast. Uh, that he doesn't have much touch on the uh, on the passes, but um, 
something something he 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 would he would have to work at. Um, he's definitely going to be um, a somewhat of a project because he's very very raw, very raw. He's going to need a lot of work, and I don't think one training camp is going to do it. Um, Got to work on pre snap uh, pre snap reads and recognition. Um, he comes off the first progression. He bear. It's one read and then he runs. Not not a great not not a great uh, life expect expectancy um, for a quarterback. Um, usually, um, but like I was saying, with uh, progression, there's at least three progressions you know that a quarterback goes through. It, 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 uh, about three, depending on what the play call is. It's usually about three. Um, he goes to one, and that's it. If he if he doesn't throw to one, he's making up something, and which is fine when you have to make up something, but it shouldn't be like that all the time. Um, and yeah, like I'm saying, uh, his pre snap, he's not doing too much, looking and checking, and he 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 hasn't mastered that part of the game. Um, so yeah, so all in all, he's very very raw, but has a lot of upside has a, a, a lot of upside and um yeah he's probably gonna go he's probably gonna be the first quarterback off the board maybe even top 10. now it's funny you said top 10 because i think it all starts at number six with the carolina panthers matt rule this is a make or break year if he doesn't get it done he'll be fired yep. do you think they take a risk and put all their chips in the middle of the table and go in malik willis or a quarterback uh i don't think so um if your job is on the line, I don't think you want to put it in the place of in the hands of a rookie, um, because especially especially in this draft class, I probably would do it for Trevor Lawrence. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, Even Justin year. Fields. Oh yeah, I, yeah. You know, you know that that's my guy. Justin Fields or Trevor Lawrence. Yeah, I if I one year rookie, I get I get one of them too because I their upside was through the roof. I mean, Trevor Lawrence was. Like a perfect prospect, pretty much. Um, but this draft is not last year's draft. It is severely different, and um, this guy arguably is the top of what they have to offer. Where do you think he goes? I mean, you don't think they go with him at six, so you think they go best player available. What do you think will be the place where he lands? Could he fall to a Pittsburgh? Does a team scoop him up? Does a Washington Commanders take a swing? <laughs> I hope not. Uh, okay. I, I, I hope they don't uh, okay. take a swing. Um, just looking at the – do you have a list of the – Yeah, uh, I got you. I was, You know, it's crazy. I was actually going to look at our paper from yesterday. Because I, <laughs> I only have the top ten in front of me. Yeah, I got um, the paper in front of me. Of the um, top ten um, – Panthers at be, six, Falcons at eight, Seahawks at nine. Could it yet. be Seahawks? So, Okay. He he could go nine. Okay. He could he could absolutely go um go as high as six, um, and as low as uh who's who 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 picks in the middle? Okay. We got Steelers at twenty, Saints at nineteen, Saints at sixteen, Texans at thirteen, but they don't need a quarterback. So really, if it's not the Seahawks at nine, you're not looking to maybe sixteen with the Saints, and then again at nineteen with the Saints, then twenty with the Steelers. Right, right. Um, he would be intriguing with the Steelers, but um, I mean Seattle at this point you're rebuilding. So if if you're going to take a shot, go ahead because with the Russell Wilson trade, you instantly have holes and Bobby Wagner gone. Like it's 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 a lot of holes on the team. So. Go ahead and rebuild. Um, this this wouldn't be a terrible spot for a quarterback. Now, granted, I wouldn't, but I mean, if you're gonna start fresh and start new, and Pete Carroll seems to have job security, go ahead and take a swing at it. And real quick on the Seahawks, they have the pick at nine, but they also have picks forty and forty-one, so they could get some good quality players on their team with those three top forty picks, basically, and. Is there a fit that you like? Do you think the Saints maybe? Do you think – well, maybe if Sean Payton was there maybe and then with the Steelers, no. Um, 
I even with Sean Payton, I feel like this is just not he's not a Sean Payton guy. You know what I'm saying? Like accuracy. Accuracy. Like, accuracy is yeah. number one with Sean Payton. Because I mean Drew Brees had never had the biggest arm. Um, and this guy, Malik Willis, is the exact opposite of a Drew Brees. He has a cannon, but the accuracy is not quite there. You need to have show all levels you've been able to throw the fastball, the touch passes, the ones right over the linebacker. You need to be able to show all those consistently and accurately. And Malik Willis doesn't do that. Um, and I, I think Dennis, Dennis Allen is just going to adopt <laughs> what Peyton Manning, I mean, what uh, Sean Payton um, has been doing. Um, I, I don't, I don't, I don't like the fit. I think they would go after more of a a, a Kenny Pickett or Matt Corral, if anything, for for the Saints, that is. But Malik Willis, I I don't see the fit in um, New Orleans, Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh. Um, if he falls to twenty, which I don't think he will, I, I I I don't think he falls to twenty. But I mean, if he's there, I have a, the, I think the Pittsburgh uh, Steelers would um, would pull the trigger. Um, depending on how they feel about who we on that big board, as far as is he rated higher than Kenny Pickett, or you know, do they like Kenny Pickett more? Because I mean, all things are telling us that Kenny Pickett is going to Pittsburgh. Do you think that he is comparable to a Lamar Jackson or Kyler Murray or maybe a Jalen Hurts? Or what do you see his pro comp as as we wrap um, up this scouting report? Pro comp? Um, if you I have mean, one. I mean, I, I hate it, but it's of the Michael Vick, Lamar Jackson, you know, variety. But is he either of those? Um, no, it's because he's a strong runner. He's not a fast runner. Not a, He's not an elusive runner. Um, he may hurt somebody on that defense. So is he like a shorter Cam Newton? <laughs> possibly, possibly. Maybe, yeah, a bit, bit, a bit smaller um, Cam Newton. But Cam Cam Newton was like about six six. Yeah, so yeah, that definitely a smaller Cam Newton. Um, and I don't like that for him because Cam Newton was not the best thrower of the football. Either. And that's what that's what hurt his career. And and so they ran him. You know, un- unfortunately, until un- into the ground, and I don't. I, I hated that for Cam Newton, um, and I would hate it for this young brother if that is the if that if, if that's his demise as well. Well, that is our draft profile on Malik Willis. A lot to be said. I mean, he could be QB one, but where does he go? And we'll see. We'll watch closely as the NFL draft approaches. For Cravante, I'm your go. I'm your boy, BKD, God's favorite host. Like this video, share, comment down below. Let us know what you think about Malik Willis. And we'll be back with more draft profiles on the Flex Zone Podcast. Cravante, only place giving you your sports how you want it. When you need it. And we're like that. We gone.